Guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I level my optics. Now, this is very important if you're gonna be going long, because remember, if we're gonna be dialing on our elevation turret like this, okay, if your optic is not level, you will actually be dialing yourself off your intended landing zone. Okay, so we've set our eye relief in the previous video. If you haven't seen that, I'm gonna link that for you guys here at the end. Okay, that is very important because when we put our face down on our system, we want to see what we wanna see. The last thing we wanna be doing is putting our face down and you know, having to hunt around for that perfect eye relief. So if you haven't watched that video, I'm gonna probably link that over here too. So make sure you watch that one first and then you come back to this video as to how to level your optic. Now I'm gonna be using this Wheeler kit to do this. There are many different systems. If you wanna go a little bit cheaper, what I've used in the past with great success, I think I shot about three seasons, literally just using this DSLR bubble level. I'm gonna link this and this for you guys on Amazon, as well as my torque range kit that I use or another option. And I just use this simple little level, okay, for three seasons. And I would level my system out like this and then find another point on my system because just now when we put the optic on, we won't be able to index off that. So I would verify that that is in fact level like that, making sure I'm looking directly down on it, not to make a parallax fault. Okay, so that is level. And then I would check something like this. Okay, that doesn't quite coincide perfectly. Okay, let me find another spot. Mm, maybe there, that's a little bit better. There we go. If I index off of that versus off of that, we are good to go. So now I know if I put my optic back on like this, okay, assuming I'm gonna tighten this, just now when we get to the leveling bit, I could just level off the top of that. And I did that for many seasons, many, 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 many seasons. In fact, my rings, the top of my rings are also a good place. But again, I'm gonna go off there just cause I know that that is level. So obviously during this process, my thing might cant this way, that way, that is still gonna remain level. I could just find that level again by tilting the system. But this is not what we're gonna be using today. We're gonna be using the Wheeler Kit. Now the Wheeler Kit works on a similar basis, but it's a little bit of an upgrade because this is now magnetic. Okay, this little level we've got there. Now what we're gonna be doing is finding our level like that. There we go, that's good enough. And then this piece actually clamps onto this shiny bit of metal that protrudes from the front here. So we're gonna open this all the way up because this is a straight taper IBI pipe that is really large. It's got all the girth in the world. And um, it just fits into this ACC that I'm running. In fact, it's so thick that I had to open up the ACC at the front by removing this little end cap that usually sits there. And um, yeah, so, okay. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tighten this guy up. Essentially what we're doing with this front bubble is trying to match this bubble that we have over here. So now that we know that this is 100% level, I'm gonna use that. And it's really cool because it gives you this fine adjustment knob over there, just making sure that that is level. Now I can remove this, move this whole thing around because that level over there is never gonna change and it's not something that I can knock off. So we've got that set, we're gonna pop our rings back. We know that our rings were over there. This is the MDT one piece mount. MDT Sporting Goods, as you guys know, has been a supporter of the channel for a very long time. In fact, I need, some torque bits to torque this sucker down. I'm gonna apply a little bit of forward pressure as I tighten this, just to make sure that it indexes against that Picatinny rail so that nothing can move under the insane forces of the Sherman Magnum. Okay, we're gonna tighten this sucker down. Let me know if you guys like this style of video, just sort of a, a talky through video as we're doing it. Again, as with our eye relief video, I'm trying to use words and terminology that may not trigger the algorithm. If you're enjoying this content and you are new to the channel or you're an old member of the channel, please make a point of sharing these videos with your friends who shoot new shooters, share them in Facebook groups and on WhatsApp and all the lovely platforms so we can get to our goal of 200,000 subscribers on the channel. We're at 163, I think, as of this morning. So thank you so much for that. You guys are freaking awesome. It is still so surreal to me that I get to do this 
for a living. It is super cool and I started this channel to just share knowledge and stuff and I'm really enjoying making these kind of videos for you guys. So, enough rambling. Now that we've got our rings talked, I'm gonna loosen this a little bit. Now keep in mind, when we were setting our eye relief in the previous video, we know that this is kind of where we need to be in terms of this movement. So whatever we do now, we don't want to be manipulating the front and back movement. All we're trying to do, okay, is correlate this with that level. Now, first things first, excuse me, the noise in your ears. I need to find this level again perfect over here just by tilting my skypod and that's what makes this skypod so nice. Now if you don't have a skypod you could do this using a, uh, you know, a support bag or a vise or something like that and the beautiful people at Vortex have made this 100% flat on the top so now we are gonna just find this again and for the guys that are saying Pete you loosened um, screws using a torque wrench attached. That is a problem. These screws weren't very tight when I was undoing them just now. So they were just kind of, I just nipped them. So obviously with a torque wrench, I don't know if you know this, but the idea is not to, um, to loosen stuff with the torque wrench. So now that we kind of have grip on our optic like that, we want to just make sure that is level. In fact, I need to tip a little bit more that way towards you guys just to get this precise and once you've done this you should be good to go because now our eye relief is correct and our level is correct and guys really this isn't something you should be paying somebody to do you should be doing this yourself if you invest in this piece of kit and this or hell even something like a two dollar thing like this it's gonna make your life so much easier. You can do this across all your platforms because every now and again you wanna take stuff off and you can put it back in the same way with the same torque specs. It is vitally, vitally important. So now that we've done that, we are secure. I just wanna make sure that the gaps on the sides of these rings are the same on both sides just for my OCD-ness, okay? And I'm probably gonna redo the one at the back because the one at the back isn't, 100% but that's fine because now the front one will be doing the work for us here it's gonna loosen these a little bit and then catch up on the oh, on this side is the side that needs to come down a little bit and that gap has pulled up on my side I can actually loosen this a smidge more and there we go that's starting to balance out now guys I'm not gonna bore you with securing all of this stuff although now it's gonna go pretty freaking quickly, but I hope you enjoyed this guide. Thank you very much to MDT Sporting Goods for their continued support of the channel. I hope you guys support the people that support the channel, whether that is for a hunting project, a long range project, if you're getting into PRS type stuff, make sure you check out the guys supporting the channel because that really goes a hell of a long way. And do tell them that you found their product as a result of what we do here over at Impact Shooting. That is pretty much it. I'm just gonna tighten all these suckers down and then this baby is ready to rock for our next long range competition, which is at the end of next month. I think we have two of those coming up. There are two days back to back. I can also use my little cheap bubble level index here from the top and then back over here where we knew it was level and look from the rear and I mean the cheapy gets it done if you want to get super nice stuff you can but you can get it done with a little bit more budget friendly stuff guys thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one this is now ready to rock again not freaking rocket science you got this thanks for watching see you in the next one bye